Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to get my review of Survivor Series 2004. Starting off the evening, we'll go to our first match of the night. It is Rey Mysterio versus Billy Kidman versus Chavo Guerrero versus Spike Dudley for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Number one, I thought this was a good opening matchup for Survivor Series 2004. Back and forth matchup with everybody involved in this match with Rey Mysterio keeping the pace of the match. Rey hits a Hurricane Rana on... Kidman off the apron. Spike then goes for an acid drop, but Ray counters it with a 619. Chavo then hits a gory bomb on Spike Dudley. Kidman then hits a springboard leg drop on Chavo. Spike then goes for the cover. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match. And at that time, still, WWE Cruiserweight Champion is Spike Dudley. Hats off to Spike Dudley for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It is Christian versus Shelton Benjamin. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Christian and Benjamin with Benjamin keeping the pace of the match. Shelton then hits a signature T-bone suplex on Christian. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match, and at that time, still WWE Intercontinental Champion, is Shelton Benjamin. Hats off to Shelton Benjamin for getting the win. In this matchup. Moving on from that. We go into our next match of the night. It is Kurt Angle, Carlito, Luther, Reigns, and Mark Jindrak. Versus and uh, Matt Morgan versus Big Show, RVD, Eddie Guerrero, and John Cena. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup with everybody involved. John Cena and Carlito end up fighting in the backstage area. Carlito ends up taking off in a car. Carlito then eliminated himself pretty much after that. Eddie was keeping the pace of the match. Angle hits a roll-up on RVD. Pins him for the three. RVD is now eliminated from this matchup. Eddie then hits a roll-up on Mark Jindrak. Pins him for the three. Mark Jindrak is now also eliminated from this match. Big Show hits a choke slam on Luther Reigns. Pins him for the three. Luther Reigns is also eliminated from this matchup. John Cena then hits an FU on Angle. Eddie then hits a frog splash on Angle as well. Big Show goes for the cover. Pins for the three. And Angle is now also eliminated from this matchup. And your winners of the match are Team Eddie Guerrero. Hats off to Team Eddie Guerrero for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Undertaker versus Heidenreich. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Taker and Heidenreich with Undertaker keeping the pace of the match. Undertaker hits an old school on Heidenreich. Taker and Heidenreich both exchange in the middle of the ring. Heidenreich then hits a sidewalk slam on Undertaker for a near fall. Taker then hits a last ride on Heidenreich for a near fall. Taker then hits a choke slam on Heidenreich. And then Taker hits his signature tombstone pile driver on Heidenreich. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match is The Undertaker. Hats off to The Undertaker for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is for the WWE Women's Championship. It is Lita versus Trish Stratus. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Lita and Stratus. With Lita keeping the pace of the match. Lita ultimately hits Trish with a chair shot on the outside. Referee ends up seeing this. And your winner of the match by disqualification is Trish Stratus. Hats off to Trish Stratus for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is JBL versus Booker T for the WWE Championship. I thought this was a relatively good matchup. Back and forth matchup between JBL and Booker T with JBL keeping the pace of the match. Referee is taken out. Orlando Jordan then attacks Booker T with the referee being taken out. JBL, JBL then hits Booker T with a, the uh, championship. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match. And at that time still WWE champion is JBL. Hats off to JBL for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is another traditional Survivor Series matchup. It is Randy Orton, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, and Maven versus Triple H, Batista, Edge, and Gene Snitsky. I thought the match itself was a good matchup. Gene Snitsk uh, Snitsky ended up attacking Maven before the match even got started. So there was kind of like, it was pretty much three against four at the time because of Maven being out. Uh, like I said, the match was a really good matchup. Back and forth matchup between both teams. Edge and Benoit both start the match for both their respective teams. 
Batista hits a power slam on Orton. Benoit then hits three German suplexes on Triple H in the middle of the ring. Triple H then hits a pedigree on Benoit. Edge then goes for the cover. Pins for the three. Benoit is now eliminated from this matchup. Orton then hits Batista with the title. Jericho then hits an enziguri on Batista. Pins him for the three. Batista is now eliminated from this matchup. Maven is here. Snitsky then hits Maven with a chair shot. Snitsky is also eliminated after the chair shot due to disqualification. Triple H then goes for the cover. Pins for the three. Maven is now eliminated from this matchup. Edge then hits a spear on Jericho. Pins for the three. Jericho is now also eliminated from this matchup. Edge then goes to hit a spear on Orton but missed and ended up hitting Triple H. Orton then gets up, hits an RKO on Edge, pins him for the three. Edge is now also eliminated from this match. Triple H then goes for a pedigree on Randy Orton, but Randy counters it with an RKO. Pins him for the three. And Triple H is also eliminated from this matchup. And your winners of the match are Randy Orton, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, and Maven. A couple of things I'm going to say about Survivor Series, man, 2004. It was a solid event. I'm not going to sit here and say it was the best Survivor Series I've, I've ever seen. Uh, but it damn sure was not the worst, man. I mean, there was a lot of notable matches on this card. The opening matchup, the Cruiserweight matchup with Rey Mysterio, Kidman, Chavo Guerrero, and Spike Dudley. For what it's worth, I thought it was a really good opening matchup to start Survivor Series. Christian and Shelton Benjamin. It was a decent match, but it could have been a hell of a lot better. Uh, the Survivor Series matchups were not that bad. John Cena and Carlito. That was a pretty cool moment they had backstage. That was an awesome match. Lita versus Trish Stratus was really good too, especially the storyline leading up to this matchup. Uh, I just wish it was a concrete, you know, finish or concrete win in that matchup and not a disqualification. Uh, Undertaker versus Heidenreich, I thought that match was trash, in my honest opinion. And it's not me taking anything away from Undertaker. Undertaker is obviously, you know, an absolute legend. But Heidenreich is absolutely trash. And I mean, if anybody's out there who's a Heidenreich fan, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. Heidenreich... I don't know why they signed him to a contract for WWE. The man can't wrestle. He cannot wrestle. I mean, throughout the entire duration of the match, man, Undertaker, you can tell he was carrying the match the best way that he possibly can. I guess they thought bringing in Paul Heyman to kind of be the sounding board for Heidenreich was going to work, but Heidenreich was just absolutely awful, man. It was atrocious to watch. It was horrible. But uh, as far as giving Survivor Series 2004 a rating from 1 out of 10, I'm probably going to have to give it a solid 5, man, at best. Like I said, it wasn't the worst Survivor Series I've ever seen, but it definitely was not the best, man. But uh, all in all, this is my review of Survivor Series 2004. I hope you guys staying safe. Be careful, and remember, stay classic. Peace.